are hunting the Minnesota gun opener actually with a bow we are in an archery zone only and there's a couple private lands surrounding us and we're about probably 80 to 100 yards from the border of a private land and this is a nice little valley with a main trail that walks in front of me there's a couple scrapes to my left All right, guys. Day two of the Minnesota gun opener. Again, we are hunting uh, archery. It is. Oh man, I got dull stress on my gloves. It stinks. But I got this decoy set down there. I'll show you guys later. Just about almost two shooting hours right now. So it's 6:44 a.m. So actually, it's actually legal shooting hours right now, but still a little too dark to see, so. 
but hopefully we get something today yesterday we saw a lot of deer probably 20 total got a shot off at one of them and went a little too high should have got it but I overestimated and there's already gunshots already day two and today's a lot windier so 25 to 35 mile an hour winds but I'm down in the valley so I should be okay and we'll probably just do the morning hunt and then uh, head back to head back home all right guys let's, let's get the day started all right guys since there's no deer coming I just want to show you how I like to set my stand the deers are coming from behind me and also from the front of me from over here and I'm a right hand shooter so I pull back with my right hand so the trail actually comes down right here like this to the decoy decoys right there somewhere I like to set it so if they come from behind me this big old tree is kind of blocking my silhouette so they can't see this stuff over here is pretty thick and uh, there's a trail that comes from up there it goes downhill like this <clears throat> so when they come down the trail they won't see me but I can see them first they'll come down like this and right in front of me right here so I have an opportunity to get ready like right now my bow is just hanging right here but this offers me an opportunity to see it first before they see me so I can grab my bow especially if I'm just talking like this or I'm just resting but normally I have my bow in my hand ready to draw back if I need to because sometimes a lot of these deers they're coming in real quick so it doesn't offer you much time it doesn't offer you much time to get a shot especially for bow but for a gun's a little easier. I could just keep the sling on me or something and just hold it and once there comes just raise up and shoot. But with a bow you still gotta draw back and everything. But yeah, this is the area I'm hunting right here, so I don't know if you can see it, but way back there there's a creek that starts from back here, goes like here, and then curves over there. So the bear, the so the deer's been using that as a runway. And above here, there's a good, it's a real good deer trail that comes from right here, and it walks down right here. Or maybe you can't see it, but but if the, any deer that comes up here, they're gonna bust me first. So so that's why I'm also facing this way, so I can. When I'm sitting, I can actually see them coming from that way as well. And the stair trail comes right here. And it goes down that way. So I'm kind of like in the middle of three main trails. But I think this is the least used trail right here. Even though it's, it's there's a lot of good signs, but... All the deer that I saw come from yesterday come from this hill, come down straight to all this fallen tree right here. And then the group of seven that I saw yesterday came from all that thick brush right there. Started coming in and I shot about 40 yards that way, but I missed. I overestimated. Yeah, there's some big fat squirrels. I don't know if you guys can see it from camera, but. There's a big fat squirrel coming down the tree right now. There's a lot of fat squirrels here. It's amazing. But this is an archery only zone. Not you can't even use 22, so so in order for you to take small game here, you have to use a bow. But anyways, thanks for watching. Keep watching, and we'll see if we harvest anything.
Man, guys, I missed another freaking deer. I missed another one. They came down so fast. Just like I said, let me turn around here. Came up this hill right here. It's a four pointer. He came down here real quick. I tried stopping it, but I couldn't get it to stop. But then uh, a doe came from down here. Came from down here. I actually saw my decoy and it stopped. So I was able to draw on it. And I was drawing. It saw me. And then it started, it started to flinch like it was going to go backwards. And so I was like, no, I'm going to take a shot. And as soon as I took the shot, it turned around. Otherwise, the water got it. It flinched and it turned around just as the arrow was flying. Man, my heart is racing right now. Wow. If it didn't flinch, I think I would have got him. Hey, Urban Adventures. Thanks for watching my videos, especially if you watch it from start to end. I really appreciate it. It really helps the channel grow when uh, you are watching it from start to finish and interacting and commenting and, uh, and liking my videos. So that means a lot to me. And uh, hopefully that you guys are learning a lot of stuff from my videos or enjoying coming with me on our adventures. This is not just my adventures, but this is our adventures, our adventures together. And I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. So, but yeah, this video, this is the Minnesota gun opener. And this is my actual first time hunting the Minnesota gun opener ever. So on this trip, we each seen about 20 deers. So between the both of us, about right around 40 deers. I mean, that's a lot of deers. And uh, from my personal experience, I've not experienced that many deers. I've not seen that many deers in one day of hunting. So so this area that we are hunting, the way it's shaped in uh, the area, it's the, all the deers are funneled into the area that we were hunting. And it was very exciting to see, even though only had opportunity to shoot at two deers but it's very exciting just to see them but with me being away from hunting for so long and just coming back into it i kind of feel like a rookie i made a lot of rookie mistakes got busted by deer missed those two deers and everything but it's all a learning mistake it's a it's, it's a experience that, that we we can always learn from that i can learn from so so hopefully the next the next time I head out into the woods, I will actually harvest one. So, but anyways, hopefully you guys like this video. Hopefully you guys are liking all my videos. And uh, I'm going to be doing uh, 1K giveaways. I just uh, finally reached 1,000 1, subscribers on YouTube. And it, that's been about a two and a half year in the making. So, so I'll just stay tuned to my next video. And that's going to be my giveaway video. So... And also, make sure you follow me on Facebook. That's where I'm going to be posting it. But anyways, you guys know the drill. As always, follow your dreams, follow your passions. Make it happen, guys. See you guys on the next video.